Hello. I am just getting a few things set up before I actually start. No worries. I'll be starting in a second anyway. Oh, I was just grabbing myself a drink and stuff. everybody yeah I managed to grab myself some new monster to try so I've got some of this monarch it's called it's really nice it's a bit like peaches so what we were doing last time <laughs> We had got hold of the shadow armor, which is really cool. Apart from the feet, the feet have like weird clawed feet on it. And then, I was trying to remember how we got the fancy armor from Moglin. Oh yeah, I am just blind. Yes, Peach. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed it with... Um, just to try it, because I'd not tried any before. Uh, so yeah. That's what I was going to say. We can now get the fancy armour from Moglin. And it turns out you just had to spend money with him. So I've bought some... But he also gave us sure? something really cool. So I spent some time getting the shadow armor. Yeah, but that relies on me paying attention and not just going, oh, pretty colors, I'll have that one. Which is what I usually do. So, Moglin also gave us this. Called the Aurus set, which I might actually put on because it actually looks really cool. So, if I swap this out, it is see through armor. However, that armor is way better than any of the other ones I'm wearing. Like, even the shadow set that I got, it's way better than any of those. And it weighs almost nothing. Like, you can see, like, the shadow set weighs 2.6, and this weighs 3.2, but it's still way less than everything else. So I'm going to wear this for a bit. A fancy see-through armour. There is a helmet as well, but the helmet doesn't look as cool, so I'm just going to leave that off for now. 
now. The bit we were going to do. Hi everybody. Hi Alex. You've arrived. I've only just started. But I was just showing off. I worked out how to get the extra armor from Morglin and you literally just have to spend loads of money with him <laughs> so Morglin is now chilling here because he's a rich guy you need armor? Go ahead. and he now sells all the cool stuff but he also gave me this sure? fancy set of see-through armor which I'm now gonna wear because not only is it really cool looking it's like way better stats than anything else I've got He'll be shouting for his tea already. <laughs> so, dump all these back in. Oh no. Keep holding the crossbow. Oh yeah, we'd, we'd found the entrance to Brightstone Cove and we were in Yeah, we were in the um, doors of Pharos area Hi Eli so I'm surprised he's not spending like 90% of his time Kerskia says, who underscore? Hi Kelly. I'm surprised Elijah's not spending like 90% of his time just watching the fish. the gauntlets. If I come to the wrong bonfire, I have. This is going back to the entrance. So the bonfire that I wanted was the one that's outside the giant rat thing that we were trying to fight. <laughs> He's getting better at drawing it though. This way. Let's get the thing bonfires because I'm lazy. But I am always surprised at how fast he's picking stuff up. But I'm sure I was like six or seven before I could like actually draw the alphabet and everything properly. Here we go, now we're at the right bonfire. Hi Dave! Right, so we had... What was over this way? Oh yeah, this is where we came from. with the, the rats down the bottom. So... Is there any other ways out here or is it just the rat? Just the rat it looks like. Hmm. <laughs> 
So, um, how are we going to deal with these rats? Because the little ones are doing toxic. And that is a pain. And the big one hits. That swipe just murders me. see full ugliness for a second. Um, bugger it, I'm just going to try and rush in and punch them all. any of the anti-toxic stuff. I don't think I do. Um, poison, dark defense, you cause bleeding, your magic. No, I don't have any of the anti-toxic stuff at all. We will try. Using the bright bug. And I'll just try dodging the little bastards as much as I can. It is that toxic that is the problem. So it's just tanking my health every time. Um. I'm not going to be using any of you, so. rush it. <laughs> yeah, I do. Like one big swipe of a sword or a couple of swipes of a small sword, it'd be dead easy. But with having to punch things, not so much. Um, that's the thought actually. Combustion, fireball. Combustion's not going to be good for it. Fire orb is alright, but it's slow to cast.
me once and I'm dead. So I need to avoid that initial pounce and I might be able to just boss rush it. I'm thinking dodging like crazy. Oh yeah, the more you die the uglier you get as well. Just in case anybody's not seen this bit before. The speed that Toxic is taking me out, I have to, have to take out the little ones. The magic bolts did it. Well, where can I get some? Will the old lady in Majula have some? So I can take out the little rats with the magic bolts, then I can just concentrate on them again. So, uh... Do you have any? No, you've just got regular stuff. You don't have any of them? stuff. Dark lightning fire. 
fire, aromatic flame, poison mist, flash sweats. any so I don't think he will but no oh, I'm in luck just in case bye you've got wood iron and great arrow wood bolts and heavy bolts which are all the things that I already have and to uh, Reinforce the crossbow more, I need more chunks. Right. Oh great. We should continue through Brightstone Call for a bit. And we will come back to the rat boss. Because he is just like an optional one by himself. We can always come back to him. Right, so. Got plenty of items around here. Rolling, rolling, rolling. What have we got? Yeah, this is a cliff. Some miners down that way. So let's explore over here. Got an archer, it looks like. A big pig. A couple of big pigs, actually. See if we can't get somebody's attention. There he is. With the weird. Like the way those guys are going is weird, it looks like they just slip across the floor. Now oh, we've got a big pig. One for me. Any more over this way? Yep. Give me a slidey run. There. Right, where's that? Ah, oh, he's over there, the archer. You taken care of. Lacerating arrow. Cool. Dropped a smooth and silky stone. Ooh, there's some inside. Oh, it's Ben Hart. The guy with the fake sword. Apparently fake sword anyway. Man. 
we got one last guy up here. Yeah, they're like, um... Falcon ears or something like that they're called. Like, I use their shield in Dark Souls 3 just because it looks cool. Like, you can get a nice shiny golden version in Dark Souls 3. So... Let's go and pick up all these items and stuff. Titanite Shard! How do I get in there? Oh no, I remember now. Yeah, we shall get in there shortly. So we got large soul. What was in this little pile over here? Soul. More soul. Even more soul. And a bit more soul. here. Doesn't like it. Right, now to get into the secret building. Because I remembered how to do it. You go in through the well. I think I actually have to jump. It would help if I remembered that jumping was a different button. There we go. And then piggy! Get out of it. Got him. Bum, 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 bum. Now, are you a good chest or not nasty chest? What does the message say? Friend ahead. I don't believe you. That looks like a lip on the chest to me. I think this is a nasty chest. I was right. Ah! How did it bite me from behind? Get it next time. Got all the other items, so I don't need to worry about those. to go and get some more. He's got a dark infused weapon as well. Peasant hat. Or it could be that just Press bad. 4 to learn more about the martial art of dad jokes with a token dill trouble base. Hi, You're please. going hollow old man. I am a bit. The uh rat boss was annoying me. By of exploring somewhere else until in the stead. But thank you for the sub, please.
Oh, it's the one up there that's shooting at me. I can just ignore him for now. Ow. Now I know this is definitely a bad chest, so grab my souls, top up. Where was it? Oh, I don't have them on me. I was going to throw one of the talismans at it to make it go to sleep. So instead, I will just make a bit more room. How did it get me again? I think I might need to up my health a bit next time I level up. Seeing as I've like not done it at all. Junk. Cool. But I need it as well. over at that time. Ladder Smith Gilligan or something like that is called. Yeah, that'll be later on then. I've not reached the poison place yet. Why am I failing at jumping into this this well after doing it perfectly the first two times? That way. Need to jump earlier. So I want what's in this mimic. There. Bum, 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 bum. See, if I'd have been thinking, I'd have picked up one of the talismans while I was at the bonfire. But instead, we shall go for one, two, three, four, five, six, roll away. No, I can 
can only get four in. This time I'm picking up a battle talisman. Just so I can see what's actually in it. Like it instantly grabs you. So I oh. You can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there. Yeah, getting too greedy. Um, you're blending to the environment. I'm sure I've got one of the stop healing talismans somewhere. There we go, Lloyd's talismans. That's what I wanted. Down to my last human effigy as well. I know I could run help to some people. Which is a thing I've not seen yet, shown people yet. Because there's the way to make yourself human, you can put down a large sign soapstone, and that will uh, stick you in with somebody until they kill a boss. Or you can put down a small sign soapstone, and you're there for 20 enemy kills for 5 minutes. So let's see if there's anybody about, shall we? We'll stick a little. We'll still run about and do stuff, but we'll put a small soap stone sign down. Because there's plenty of images at bonfires and stuff, so there's definitely people around here. Put a little symbol down. Uh, Nano Machines will be Tuesday. That will probably be the last one for the main story as well, because we're right at the end of it. And then I will be doing the DLC afterwards. So you will get to see me play as Sam. And ba, 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 ba. Summon sign has disappeared, means I need to put it down again. Because I died. There. You should be dead. There. <clears throat> this cake is rubbish. 
You should make her. Not that you'd have luck much. Much luck making Katie do anything. Depends if she's watching or not. If she's watching, I'll get in trouble as well. I already know. This time we are going to use hacks because I want sort of equip talisman, throw talisman, staff of wisdom, and dark leggings. Ooh. And now we shall try and beat it up. One. That's about all I can do. Now it pops. Gotcha. Finally. Right. And the way out is up this. Still got Piggy up there looking angry at us. And then we've got the other archer over here. kicked by everything in sight. Right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So it's down this way now where we saw the miners and stuff. And suspicious looking boulders. Second suspicious boulder. So of a brave warrior. And another flame butterfly. I've got loads of those now. bunch of dudes. All with dark weapons. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Guys over here, is this a trap? I was expecting that to be a trap. All of these are lies. Well,
more peasant gear. Now we have fancy doors to open. Hi back. So, just looking at these doors, if any of you do not like spiders at all, yeah, if you have like any form of arachnophobia or anything, you might not want to watch this bit, just as a warning. Because, well, spiders. So. Oh. See? Won't even let me aim at them, I don't think. This is Brightstone Cove. This is where you can get boss weapons. an hour and a half's worth of torch is worth keeping it. Now centre my head on it and throw. See they don't like fire so I can mainly just corner them and murder them. Mail breaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, they broke the chest, the bastards, so I only get rubbish. Yeah, that is one of the things about Dark Souls 2. Chests are breakable. So you can hit them to test if they're a mimic, but if you happen to break that chest, whatever was in there breaks as well. Yeah, the massive hole you've got to go around the edge at some point. So yeah. The spiders broke the chest, so I didn't get anything out of it. I can't even remember what it's supposed to be. Or if it was anything important. Illusory And a human effigy. Let's try this first. You can have a rating. Oh yeah, it's the, the not boss that's next, isn't it? Priestess set. So. Where were you? Well, you must have been hiding right up there. You an effigy I just picked up. Look at the more of them out there. Just not coming anywhere near. So yeah, this is like the fake boss. So. Ow! Lightning still hurts a lot. Need to make sure to go for the lightning guys first. Yeah, I have not upped my health at all during this playthrough. So I am still on the starting HP. So... I 
wonder, if I remember right, you can rush up to this guy and stop him dropping it. But not bad, I can't hit it myself. Oh, these guys actually drop flame butterflies as well. I definitely need to increase my health. Go and pop some souls. I did have. I've got loads of souls in here that I've not used. So let's grab a bunch. So first I might be able to upgrade something, because I did pick up another chunk. Reinforce. You need three. You need three chunks, so I can't actually <laughs> upgrade anything. Bugger. How much is a level up? Uh, da, da, da. Nine thousand. Give me health. Depends how much help I've got, Alex. That's all it takes. Um, put you back in there, put the rubbish back in there. Now, this lady, do you have any effigies on you? Bet you do. Three. 1,500 each. Lovely. Travel back to Brightstone Cove. See if I'm having trouble in Brightstone Cove, I don't know how I'm gonna survive Shrine of Amana when I get to that place. I remember playing that that place actually got nerfed twice or three times maybe. Like when the game originally came out, the casters in there who do the homing souls 
Is it your homing soul spell, whatever it is? More like interspersed all over. And then later on they nerfed them and spread them out a bit. There you go, you can just draw them in. Yeah. And then later on they got spread out more. And then with Scholar of the First Sin, they all got moved and some of them got replaced. Let's see if I can't get these guys with the boulder. I just want to see if it works. I got one of them. Oh well. It's now one that I don't have to fight. On your attack. Missed. Trousers. Yeah, that magic missile was a pain. Some of them did Soul Spear as well. Like in the original version. Which is the the giant takes off a chunk of your health spell. Yeah, I did that Dave. Like the ogre they added in at the beginning in the the giant's forest. Like that ogre was never originally there, it was just a few hollows. So I went jogging down the river as normal right into his face. Oh yeah. Fire. So we're going for the casters. Yeah, they moved all the white knights. One of them got me. Stance. have the hex caster. Get wrecked. Why won't you target the skinny man? Stop targeting the ones on the floor. There.
now to finish this boss in the lamest way possible. Fire ahead, try right. Front. Be wary of bug. I think you lie. So we've got more bugs and stuff down that way. Some casters. Some sparkly lizards. Bonfire ahead. Bonfire. <laughs> yeah, troll finish to a... Like, that boss just feels like an afterthought. It literally feels like, oh yeah, we need an extra boss for this area, so we'll just dump this in here. Let's see if Morglin has anything else. Because after your beat, basically what I had to do to unlock stuff with Morglin is spend like loads of souls with him, so I just spent a load. You need arm. No, he's sure? not got anything else yet. But yeah, Morglin, you just spend a load of money with him, and that unlocks being able to buy boss armors and stuff from him. Yeah. I was weary of Duck as soon as I saw him, Dave, so... When he played, like, when I played, he got nothing. Like, Clem got all the cool stuff, Duck could just, like, book her off. Along with Kenny and all of his, I'm not racist, but I'm gonna say something racist. But Kenny's just a dick in general, he blames you for everything. Oh, yeah, Put the arrows away. So we got some more health, and we can go to the second bonfire. No, Kelly, Kenny is shit. Kenny will always be shit. Speaking of, I might play um, Wolf Among Us at some point on stream. Because I do really like Wolf Among Us. Yeah, Lee is generally shit as well. He's a terrible parent. Like, everybody forgets, like, in the intro of the game, that the whole reason he's in a cop car is for committing murder. But yeah. I will check with, see, with Brina, see if he's going to play it at some point, because I know he's doing Walking Dead. I don't know whether he wants to do Wolf Among Us as well. If Brina's not doing it, then I will. Yeah, Wolf Among Us is based on a comic series called Fables, I believe it's called. It is a lot of fun. There's a great bit me and Dave love where uh, you're in a bar and it has like the typical telltale options of stuff you can do. One of the options is glass him 
lots of Americans and other people did not know what glassim means because it's like British terminology. So a lot of people thought they were buying this guy a drink and not smashing a pint glass over his head. All the compilation bids of people going, oh, I thought I was buying him a drink. I went, nope. Is this a sneaky way down? It is. Now, can I get this little fucker before he jumps off? I doubt it. Nope. Ah, oh, well. in this room. Uh, nothing about it. Yeah, I'm doing number one. I wonder if there's like a hidden tunnel there or something. Stupid spider. So this is just a trap room. Yeah, Wolf Among Us is on my list of stuff to play. But I know I recommended Tales of the Borderland. Tales of the from the borderlands, I should say. So that's in Alex's mix somewhere. And that one's a lot of fun. I hear more sparkly. Go away. Who are you? Ah! In Spider-Man. Not the good Spider-Man either. But we did get another chunk. The Game of Thrones one is apparently canon as well. Um, George R. R. Martin was talking about it in an interview because they asked him what he thought of it. There's the big hole that Dave was talking about. Here we have more spiders. Another spider man. Got me another human effigy though. And we have a pole thingy. What does the pole thingy do? I am suspicious. Is it just going to bring that chest out? It is. Ritual band plus one. What are you? Uh, bu -bu -bu. Ooh, tune additional spells. I might get used. Might use that at some point. I did not even know there was a Back to the Future one. But I knew they'd made a Guardians of the Galaxy one, but I'd not really seen anything about it, other than that it was a thing that existed. I did not even know there was a Back to the Future one. Oh yeah. Like this. Is 
So what do we have? We've got petrified dudes. We've got a caster below us. More dudes down there. These are two separate areas as well. So let's go this way first. Drop on the caster. Or try to. Exploding ring to the rescue. What's in here? More spiders and another spider man it looks like. And a summon sign. I'm getting better at, better at aiming those throwing knives now I've remembered the trick to it. And I know you're just hiding because I can target you, so... Get punished. And more human effigies. Secret tunnel! Who are you? Bashful Ray. I don't reckon it. Oh, you're the assassin dude. This way. That's a drop off. So we will go through the secret tunnel first. Prison Axe and Soul Vortex. Soul Vortex is a cool spell. Oh, do I get in there? I need to go outside. So we will continue exploring out here. Need to try and take care of that caster though. Otherwise she's just going to be firing stuff at me the entire time. Like that. And we have an invader. Boom, two, three. using the avalanche as well. Backstab. Heal up a bit. Piss off. So the spiders will leave me alone. As long as I have the torch out of the guess. However, how the fuck do I get to that caster? I don't think I can. What a bitch. <gasps> Basilisk. Basilisk with his eyes as little as well. It's in here. Oh, this is where our friend is, but I haven't released them yet. So, once I have more of those, um, wait, what are you doing? Once I have more of the, um, fragrant branches for getting rid of petrification, I will go and rescue our friend. I just need to remember where to get fragrant branches from. <gasps> Caster fell down. Come here, bitch. There. Now we can explore in vague peace. Can I jump up there? I don't think so. Not unless I can go get something. There's the pit of doom. Does not open from this side. Ah, 
And there's a bonfire there as well. Um, how do I get to you then? Can I break the door? Get one of these ones. Titanite night chunk. So this comes out on the other side. We've got spider man we've got small eyed basilisk, some actual spiders. Spiders have come out the door. I wonder if they're scared of the bastards for some of them, that's why they love coming out. Is that the door I came in? This is the door that just opened. This can be broken. Yeah, but I'm doing it. We've got another door there, so let's see what's this way. Boop, 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 boop. Destroy all the furniture just in case. Oh, is this the door? Yeah, that's the platform that I've literally just broken. A large Titanite shard. And try jumping. Nah. What I will do though, get this guy down. Oi. And then now we have this door. Too heavy to open. Alright then. Let's try and break it. Ow! It worked though. What's in here? Got another door. of left there's a trap. It's locked. So I need a key for it. There we've got more miners. Stuff is bad for you. That sounded well made. Yeah, uh, repair powder, please. Uh, 
fire didn't come. Three more torches. So we didn't find a way to get to the bonfire in there. Looks like I probably need a key. But I'm pretty sure we've been... Well then... I was going to say, we're pretty sure we've been everywhere we can be. We can go before this. Poison arrow. Yeah, they still don't like the fire, so... We're all right for now. Gold pine resin, solar hero. spiders just getting murdered got another summon sign who are you manhunter O'Hara <gasps> big fancy bow as well uh, I didn't need to drink but oh well You don't want to come down. Apparently not. So we have another door here. Also locked. And then we have these that I can pull. You are a Spider-Man. There better be a key here somewhere to unlock those doors because I cannot be asked running this far if I find them to get to the boss. Either that or the better be. Oh, an invader! When did you get here? Or are you just a fancy red mountain? Where are the peasant stuff as well? Kia says, who underscore? No, oh, you're a poo underscore. And, um, that invader down. Or red phantom, I should say. Homeward bone. So we've just got this way now up the ladder. Weakness tail, hurrah for message. Look at all this spider web. This place looks lovely. It slows you down as well. Oh look, yeah, he was right, but I've got another hour and 40 minutes worth on my torch, so I am good for now.
Another ferrous lock stone. <gasps> Rena's a little bitch. one. So we got items over there. This one looks unreachable though, through any other bit. And we've got a couple of random dudes with torches. So, instead of points now, Dave, there is an exclamation mark TTS command. So you type in exclamation mark TTS and then whatever you want it to say. Um, it is on a whitelist thing, so only people we set to be able to do it can do it. So you should already be on the list because of the way because I set it up myself with everybody I could think of straight away. Yeah, you just type in exclamation mark TTS and then whatever you want. underscore says sap you all it's me it's ya boy Brina hi Brina and yeah uh, mods can add people as a regular to uh, enable them to use TTS and there is also a band uh, TTS ban command as well if anybody who is a regular you want to stop them using it for a while, for whatever reason. So by default people can't use it unless we add them to a regular list. When they are on the regular list we can actually ban them from using it if we want to by using the TTS ban command. More spoders. And then I believe... Well, I know, this is a lost one. So, make sure I've not missed anything down here. Nope. Nope. Grab this item. And then... If I missed something over here, is that just spider just sat there because it's being lazy? There were a couple of spiders left that I'd missed. Come here, you. So that's all the spiders done. I believe it is boss time now. So I've only got life gems left. Um. We are already human, so you can do it. Let's go. Brina's embracing the the BTTV and the Franca's first emotes now. The dragon. <laughs> I 
And then we have Big Spider. So. That was a good place. Other than... into it with actual healing this time now that I've uh now that I know where I'm going wait a second give me a second I will sort that out Dave um why is it trying to use currency? It shouldn't be. Come here, you. Config general. Cost zero. Currency. Kelly's a little bitch. saying you trying to use points when you shouldn't be bum, bum, bum. permission level regular cost zero configuration updated successfully um, yes bad. <laughs> Just try it again, Dave. Just test it, see if it does anything. Because it shouldn't be trying to use, um, like the app or the uh, chat bot that I use. H A G G E R D underscore B I J I N G O says. So yeah, for some reason it was trying it was trying to use the internal currency for the bot that I used, even though I told it not to. Ooh, that's a shot.
I also don't know why she just she just said she spelt out your name still instead of saying it. Might be because it's all capitals. That's probably it actually. So seeing as there are little spiders in the boss room, I'm actually going to leave my torch out this time. Kerskia says, I heard Dave smells like old cheese. <sighs> Kelly, that's a terrible thing to say. So, this boss. It switches sides. Can do. Uh, just two that time. Oh, got it for spells. Registered chemical weapons. That you once heard that Kirkia said that Alan heard from the little bird that Rita wanted to shout from the mountain top. You're a little bitch. <laughs> Bye bye, Spider. And now all these guys come running in as well. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take care of these little ones. The big spooder. You're a spooder. Me little spiders. We shall be more help for me when I get to go back to Majula with my 60 odd grand in souls. With that all the little. So that's all the little spiders done, and then this dude turns up. Thank you for my torch. Yeah, that's all the little spiders dealt with. So yeah, which is what you see in the intro. That giant ass spider had a dragon in its web. And it was laying all of its babies inside the giant spider. 
<laughs> yeah, I can dick around with like the pitch and the speed of it as well, right? Eh? So, um, if I go to the settings for it, uh, uh, configuration updated successfully. Yeah, they're working on, um, see, this is a weird thing I can't touch. Yeah, they're working on other voices for it. They're trying to integrate the, the Brian voice. But at the moment, it's just got that now and a couple of other voices that it can do in English. So yeah, if you want to try some now, it'll do it in a stupid deep voice. So yeah, the, the fight that we just did was Duke's dear Freya, and this is the Duke. H-A-G-D-E-R-D underscore B-I-J-I-N-G-O says, Everything is agony, please kill me. <laughs> there we go. So that's the Duke dealt with. And he gave us the bright stone key, which I reckon was probably that key we needed to get to the other rooms. Centric Lord Saldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal Alexis. fortune by mining. Who underscore? Who underscore? Who underscore? Who underscore? <laughs> who underscore? Who underscore? Who underscore? There we go, and we have a big fancy room, and there should be a primal bonfire. Yep. And this one you can see is actually broken, like they've broken the coiled sword for it. But I can also pitch it up as well. Configuration updated successfully. So, let's dump the rubbish, I say rubbish, the stuff I'm not going to use in here. Got rouge water, resin, resin, corrosive urns, those things are mean. Uh, soul of Duke's dear Freya, we've got fragrant branch. Cracked red eye orb. We've got three Pharaoh's lock stones, so there's a couple of places we can go now. H A G D E R D underscore B I J I N G O says Catch the pigeon, Muttley, you dumb fuck. Yeah, we will get the Brian voice eventually. The guy is working on it. It's just they can only integrate it with some of the Google ones at the moment. So. Uh, reinforce. We've got... You're at seven. We'll up you to seven. We'll up you to seven. Eight. Eight. So I've got three left. I can get one of these to nine. Oh, I can get it to ten because I've got a slab. There we go. We've got one of our cestus maxed out. And then I can change the speed that it beats stuff as well. Um, so I'll set it back to normal pitch. And set speed to 150%. Configuration updated successfully. So we've got our upgrades. Time for... We have the Estus Flask. Give us another sip. And then 
more health, please. In fact, no, wait. Get those up to an even 30 and then get more health. But you can see with... Just as fully upgraded, a an a, a rating for scaling and a b rate. So, Cestus is a beast now. So we leveled up a bit. I've probably got enough to get one more, at least. Shaded Woods actually, because there's somebody I need to retrieve there. Shaded Ruins. Flamberge. Pots. The person who makes boss, or one of the people who makes boss weapons for us. Oh, I didn't go back into power stance. Do that now. There. There. One of the people who does boss weapons for us lives in Brightstone Cove, but they're currently over here and uh, petrified. So I need to go in here. Take out the basilisks. Which I really don't want to do a trap in a small room. Because they're just going to do that over a while. Yep. Let me out. Basilisk taken care of. Yes. Now we should be able to open. Why is this still locked? Where do I get the key for this then? I don't know. Unless. Mary of Curse. Is it this dude who's got the key? I'll have to use a fragrant ranch and find out. It is! But I think I need another fragrant ranch. Possibly, unless that person isn't actually petrified, we shall see. But I think that opens the door that's down here. <gasps> They're alive! And we get another fragrant branch for doing it. Even better. Thank you for helping me. I am on a fax. I will use some form of fax. But have nothing for you at the moment. If it would not trouble you, could you visit my abode? Thank you, Car Travel. So Ornifex is a bird person. Orn effects will also make us boss weapons. So we shall go and see 
the other dude who does them. So I'm pretty sure Duke's dear Freya, who we've just killed, she makes um, the Soul Spear spell, or the Crystal Soul Spear spell. But I don't know what other things you can get for it. So we'll have to speak to Strayed and find out. So Strayed, what are you offering us? If you seek my strength, bring me soul. Bigger, stronger souls. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, Pursuers Ultra, Warped. Arced Sword, Giant Stone Act, Barbed Club. Gargoyle Bident, we've got Dragon Rider Halberd, Dragon Rider Twin Blade, Dragon Rider's Bow, for Shua Shield and the Dragon Great Shield. And then for spells, we've got Heavy Homing Soul Arrow and Soul Shower. What actual items do you sell? Wing of Knowledge, Dragon Crest, the Agape Ring, Rouge Water. You sell Lingering Flame. Ooh. And flame Swave. You take two slots, you take one. We are 9,500. Um. Stop whinging. Could I pop some souls and get them from him? Probably. Because I would like to see what they are. Considering they are pyromancies and I can use them. It's all six. So if you bigger. So give me flame swave. I need six thousand seven hundred for the other one. I'm not going to get them from the, that from those armor. Oh well. But I shall equip sway, Flame Swave. And we shall drop in somewhere I can chuck it to see what it does. Let's try here. So get the Paramancy Flame out. Ooh. That's cool. And now we shall head back to Brightstone Cove because we've got the key to unlock everything. So we can go and unlock all those doors we were looking for. And then I'll go and give the rat another try. Beep 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 beep. So. Pretty much just run past all these spiders. You piss off. Don't push. Maybe I should get the torch out after all. Bastards. So I'll go human again. Because I want all the invasions if I can. I keep forgetting that I'm actually wearing armour as well, you can barely see it. shot that time. So 
doors we were trying to open. Uh, the giant rat. I'm just going to clear up a few things around here and then go after the giant rat. So we'll go down here. Down here. Where's the other doors? It wasn't. I've upgraded my crossbow a little bit, so I should actually be able to one-shot the little rats now. And I've got some more health. So... This was the bit I was looking for. You pop up. Get wrecked. the key locked so it wasn't that door don't think I can jump back in there oh I can so I can go back the other way was in here. Guess what all effects like this. spells for you. Any more? Is that all of them? Right. Can I open this? It does not open from this side. Yeah. Right, one effects, what have you got? Time. 
Cool, she'll give us one free one. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. So. She works as a regular blacksmith. What do you actually sell? Murakumo, the giant ass curved great sword. Twin blade, composite bow, heavy crossbow. You sell fire bolts. You sell blossoms and you sell a couple of spells. What's up for trade? So we got the lost sinner sword. The spider fang, which is a dagger, I think. Oh, curved sword. Spider silk thrusting sword. And the dragon slayer spear. So it doesn't have much. But while we're here, I will get some of these fire bolts. Um, I don't need a hundred. Um, there. And now we will go to the other bit. Because there was a door inside the giant room. And see if that door will open as well. So, you know what these dudes. Everything here is already dead. But the random villagers. Who are just ignoring us. So we shall leave them be. You've got a film room filled with lots of spiders. Price stone key! So that's what it's for. Hey look, another room filled with spiders. Or should be anyway. Where does this go? What are you? Black Knight Ultra Great Sword, Great Fireball, and a Fire Seed. That was worth it. And now look at all these spiders. So I still don't know how to open that other door that just says locked. I don't know where the key for that is. I'm guessing that leads to the second bonfire. But yeah, this door in here, I don't know how we're supposed to open. Yeah, just locked. Let's homeward bone. Seeing as we've got a fire seed and another spell, we'll go and upgrade my pyromancy if I can. And then we shall go and attack the big rat. So back to Majula. Boop, 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 boop. Go and see the Paramancy lady. I'm glad to see you're well. So I'll reinforce my Paramancy flame. Yes. And then. He's still just can't go us. So I've got Flame Swathe equipped at the moment. Um, the one I just picked up was Great Fireball. So Great Fireball looks like. Get flames way equipped. And we shall go and fight the big rat. So we need to go to Doors of Fair. No, it's not Doors of Fair as it's called, is it? Gum's Respite. And we're going to Ordeal's End. Sponger. 
So I'm going to try this Flames Wave on the little rats. Because it's a silly large spell. Hi Wills! How goes? I am currently getting my ass beat. Or was getting my ass beat. By the big rat boss. Time to try and get him back. So the little rats I'm going to try and take out with flames with. Because this spell is big. So... Come on. Oh, I've got three of them. And I can take at least one shot. <laughs> yeah, I might try. I want to get this boss done. Like, I know it's just a... Uh, there's another way in, but... Flame Swathe at least worked. Um, I do still have crossbow equipment as well, yeah. Yeah, the small rats are the, the things that cause the trouble. I actually get the cast off that time. And now I'm toxic. I'm probably going to die a few times to this. I don't know why I bothered retrieving that then, there's like almost nothing in it. For you maybe Dave, I don't get bank holdings off. Rubbish. I used to, but when we got the pay rise, part of the new contract was that when holidays became normal working days. So I get paid more, but. If one of my normal work days falls on a bank holiday, I just work bank holidays now. Should die already. Come here. 
supply here. There we go. Royal Rat Authority Tile. Soul and a rat tail. Is there anything else in here? No, no, no. But there is another door, so we should go through the other door. Detour ahead. Try tongue bottle. Look at you. Leave this place, human. We have no time for thy kind. Humans bring nothing but filth. Shut up, you're a filthy rat. Is there a rat tail, human? Last one of mine rat burrows conquered. This will not go unnoticed. Rejoice, for the right to serve me is now since thou art human still. Permit me ask, wilt thou thy human soul surrender? So he wants me to join the rat. Swearest thou by the sweet tempered sludge that left I might just tell him to bugger off. No. Of course. Humans are all alike. Get thee gone. We will tolerate thy stench no longer. Stupid rat. What is thy purpose? <laughs> Right, so, that is that boss done. That is this area done, I believe. Oh no, we've got, we've still got the bit that we can un open up with, um, with the ferrous lock stones down here, don't we? So. And we've got the Gorm Great Shield, which will come in handy when we fight the dragon. Is it in this bit? No, oh, it's in the other bit. Still got a fragrant branch we can use. But this, used by the nomadic germ, appears to be a stone monument that was converted into a makeshift shield. Naturally, it's quite heavy and haphazardly crafted, but few attacks will make it past this monster. And this thing also has 100% flame resistance, so we will be using it at some point. Big spider is dead, big rat is dead as well. I'm now going unlocking this door. Yeah, big spider's dead. Um, we killed the big rat. And we also um, no, it's the royal rat the vanguard, I think it's called. The giant rat. Oh yeah, authority. Now we have this area we can open up with lock stones. Yeah, I got got Paramount's Young Kong Flames Wave, which is massive. Like, I will cast it now to show you what it does. And that took out all of the little rats. And it did not take me long to take out the big one. So what was in this? Santia's spear. So yeah, Santia's spear is a really weird weapon. So I will show you it because it is I did use it for a bit when I originally played this game. So this is Santia's spear. It is a spear with a big rock on it. 
and like the moves for it are terrible. They use up almost all your stamina. Press 4 to, to learn, learn more about the martial art of dad, dad jokes, jokes with a token, token dilf trouble base. base. Hi, man. Hey, cutie. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Press 4 to, to learn more about the martial art of dad, dad jokes, jokes with a token, token dilf trouble base. base. Hi, cuties. Hi, bar. Yeah, it's a really great alert. I love it. So I, uh, I told Tamps, yeah, I was going to use it. <laughs> but yeah, I have, uh, I have taken down two bosses so far. Bought a load of spiders. Found an area I have no idea how to get into. And I am now also wearing invisible armor. So you can like just about see it when it's zoomed in like this. It is fine. So yeah, that spear there is rubbish. Unless you break it. When you break it, that spear gets better. But yeah, I, I got some invisible armor from the guy in the main area. Like, I found out to get the extra stuff from him. Um, you just have to spend loads of money with him. So that's it there, the armor of Aorus. I spent loads of money for him and he gave me this armor set for free. So you can see it really well here in the sunlight. But it's an invisible armor set. It does have a helmet as well, I just can't be bothered wearing the helmet with it. So I am using this armor now and it's actually pretty decent as well. I have upgraded one of my fists fully, so it's a plus 10. I just need a couple more chunks to get the other one to plus 10. And I have got some more pyromancies, so I've got some fancy flame spells. So we've just done... In fact, did I pick up any more chunks? I don't think I did. I knew you'd be able. No, I need two more chunks. So, we've done... I'm trying to think of where to go now. So we've done Brightstone Cove. We've got everything we can from there. Doors of Pharos, we've done what we can get to. Shaded Wards. Right, let's level up. While I try and remember where I'm supposed to go next. Because... Yeah, but I'm trying to remember how to get to the poison place, Brina. That's what I'm stuck with. Because Brightstone Cove is a dead end. It ends at Duke's Dare Flyer, where we've been to. Oh, you do have a rather tight time. Uh, that ring of the Evil Eye. Silver Cat. We will need that ring at some point. Yeah, Dave, if you've got one. Nothing. We'll go and see the map maker in the meantime, see what he's on about. Yeah, I can't actually remember where I'm supposed to go next. Or how to get to the poison place. Yeah, but the ladder man isn't here yet because the ladder man is at the poison place. It seems to fulfill something very precious. Deep within the soul. Something essential. I just can't remember how to get to there.
was more than enough to say to himself. For himself. Go ahead, see what I'm offering. I'm rich. I'm rich. I don't need to go home anymore. Home. Home. So Morgan is now rich, but because of that, he doesn't have any drive anymore, so he's hollowing out. Um, Are you sure? So, I know where I've just had a thought. Right, let's go and speak to this lady. Give me some more of these tasty health stones. Thanks. I have just remembered where it is we can go. <laughs> hello there. The scam artists. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one pathway is leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? Yes, please. So she sells all this crap. I need 2,000 souls. No I forgot she's that much of a scan artist. Yeah, we've got a little bit to do before we actually get to the poison place anyway. Because we can go through there to... Um, what is usually a big PvP area as well, to be honest. Is my ring actually broke? Yeah, it is. I need to get my ring repaired. So... Need unfolds. That is bugger all souls. Which well it's gonna beat up some German stuff. She's a proper scam artist. She's like, oh yeah, do you want a miracle? Pay two grand. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Right. Let's go and beat up some of these little dwarves. Hey! <laughs> but yeah, I vaguely know where I need to go now. You got Ashley. It's Ugly Beth for a bit. That's what Ugly Beth looks like. <laughs> Bart has been training you. Yeah, I did go through them because when I realised it was only like a one-off donation to Frankers to get all 50, I just went, fuck it. I'll do one-off donation of a fiver and we can have all 50. And then all the BTTV are the moving ones now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, I knew Brina would like that one. Brina Chan and his anime emotes. He loves them all. So this was the air, the bit where I was going to use another one of my uh, Ferris lobsters. I just completely forgot. So it is left or right. Bad luck. Try attacking me. I don't even know what that does. Let's try the right hand one. We have... Rubbish. Oh! Cheeky fucker. And I don't have any more Ferris Lock Stones. I'll just kill some more random things. Gave me toxic. Durr. I need one more kill and I'll have one. 2,000 that I need. Quick, hold my bone before the toxic kills me. Give me back them 2,000 souls. next to this one. another loop and kill these dudes. There. There is my souls. So where is the rat? I know you're here somewhere. Stinky little bastard, you're below me. Yeah, that's what you get. Mm. 
now we can use the homeless boat. We. Now we can go back to Majula and pay the scam artist. I would be tempted to just murder her, but there is fun plot stuff, so I'm not going to. Once we've got to the new area and do a bonfire, I will probably finish for the day. Go and get myself some food and stuff. Just right, scam yes. artist, move it. Tunnel, more tunnel, and weird cliff. And this leads us to hey. This dude again. I don't know who you are, but believe me, the frailty of the wind disrupts the dark. Leave me alone. No, I'm gonna keep talking to you. Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dark, and you have to give. <gasps> Hurrah for dark. So we are in Huntsman's Cops. And this area is going to be fun, because there's always lots of PvP here. So you can see birds in the distance. You can see all these trees. And that is where we'll be heading to. So light the bonfire. And is, Dave, is Brina supposed to be streaming today? I can't remember. Yeah, he is. So we will dick around in Huntsman's Cops for a bit, until Brina is online. In fact, something I've not done for a while. Go for an invasion, shall we? See if there's anybody about. Attempt to invade another world. Unable to find. No worries, Alex. I shall probably speak to you later. Doesn't want to find anybody. <gasps> it's Philip. He's back. <laughs> you have any giggle that does? I could hear you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <gasps> it's one of these. I've still got throwing knives, don't I? I've just not got them equipped. Gotcha. Oh no. 
one of Philip's friends and he doesn't look very well. Right. More poison bugs. I think we need some light. There we go. Oh, now it'll let us aim for it as well. I bet you we can make it down there. I can see a giant bass. Let's get the bottom. I can just see the outline of it. There. There he is. Just the giant bastards. If it is, oh yeah, Philip's down here as well. You're not Philip. Tender. Oh, we're wrecking this thing. There we go. Ah, there's another poison bug above us. That's why I'm getting poisoned. Poison moss. Large titanite shard and you. Got Ricard's rapier. That's the rapier that stabs a lot. Um, so where's the way out of here? Soul of a Name of Soldier and a cage lift. Yay. Wonder if there's any more items on those mushrooms I can get by dropping down to them. Torch. A big pit. Giants ahead. Why do I not believe you? This dude hanging off the edge though. We got bandit's knife. And not much else. So what's up this way? Bum, 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 bum. We've got a 
empty space. More lighters. You guys are. We've got try ranged battle, but can't even reach it. Item ahead. Got poison moss and a life gem. And this leads back in just at the other side. some light. It's only a little bit, but it helps. So what have we got here? Nothing it looks like. Brina is going live, so I think I will finish there and we shall continue our adventure around Huntsman's Cops next time. So, should be ending there and raiding on over to Brina. I shall see you all next time, which will be most likely Tuesday for revengeance but I do have fork knife at some point I'm going to try and organise a day for that so I will see you all next time thank you for coming everybody ah no problem Manu you've been busy it's fine say hello to Brina he is playing bomber crew I have no idea what that is, but remember to be mean to him and refer to him as Brino Chan because that's what he likes. And I shall see you all next time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye bye. -bye.